Hey what's up guys, it is King Alpha here and welcome back everyone to a brand new video. Here today on the channels we are going to be taking the Harry Potter test here to see which house, which Patronus, and which wand we are going to receive uh, for Hogwarts Legacy. Ooh. If you guys don't know, uh, we'll have a link down to it down in the description if you guys want to take this test for yourselves. But essentially you guys can take these little tests on their website and essentially whatever your results are, if you would like, you can transfer them over to Hogwarts Legacy when the game releases in february uh and i think that's really cool so we decided to take the test and see which houses we would get put into which patronuses we would get and which ones would i guess choose us i guess we're not choosing them they're choosing us but if you guys do go enjoy today's video we'd appreciate it if you guys drop a like subscribe to the channel and ding the bell so you don't miss out on any future any future videos but without further ado here we go let's see which house we're gonna get put into right, then click house all right, get sorted now. Okay, here we go. River or forest? Ooh, okay, okay. All right. Oh, uh, we have. I think we have different ones to start off. I have dusk or dawn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, my next one is: if you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take dusk with you? I'm gonna go dusk. We got cats. Toads and owls. Oof. If you could have any power, over toys you choose. <laughs> the power to read minds, the power to change the past, the power of invisibility, the power to speak to animals, the power of superhuman strength, the power to change your appearance at will. Oh. Nice. Good I chose the uh, owl animal, so I get to choose what kind of owl I want. These are some good Pretty ones. Good. Invisibility would be good. This is a power cool to read minds. Owl. Go the snowy owl though. Snowy owl. I'm gonna go. Ooh, how would you? How would you like to be known in history? The great, the wise, the bold, or the good? Ooh, Which of the interesting. Do you find most difficult to deal with? Loneliness, boredom, hunger, being I'm ignored, agreed. and cold. Yeah, you're getting very different questions. <laughs> yeah, they were, we get. I don't. We don't have them like in order. Attending Hogwarts. Oh, there's black box. Which pet would you choose? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go cat. And owl. I'm not sure about toads or owls. Ginger cat, white cat, Siamese cat, mm. tabby cat, black cat. Well, we all know black cats are the devil, so it's not go that one. Interesting. I'm gonna go with the first one. Ginger cat. Four boxes are placed before you. Which one would you try and open? The gleaming jet black box with a silver lock and key marked with a mysterious rune that you know to be marked of Merlin. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? All about magical creatures and how to befriend slash care for them. Flying on a broomstick sounds hella fun. <laughs> uh, being able to materialize and dematerialize at will. Ooh, secrets about the castle. Turning one object into another object. X's and jinxes. Every area of magic I can. For sure, I'd love to learn a little bit of everything. Which of the following do you most find difficult to deal with? Loneliness? Boredom, hunger, uh, being ignored, or cold. I don't mind the cold. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of used to getting ignored by you, so I don't really care. <laughs> hunger, oh, you, you know I'm a, I'm a big <laughs> eater. Boredom, it's kind of a big deal. Loneliness, like if if, if you're not lonely, then it's kind of hard to be bored because you always have people around, right? <laughs> yeah. I feel like the big thing is loneliness. Uh, yeah. That's kind of like one of my fears is, is being lonely. Give him the choice. Would White or black? Oh, now we're getting racist, huh? <laughs> 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 yeah, we're getting Yo, they're, trying to, they're trying to be racist out here. <laughs> now, I feel like I have to go with black. Now, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, I generally I, I want to pick the black, though. Oh, I'm ready to be sorted. Are you ready? Oh, uh, glory. We'll, we'll wait and we'll click it at the same time. Oh, wisdom. 
One of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. Now he has come top of the class in charge, beating you in second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you to the side. There's a lesson. Ask you whether or not a classmate used a forbidden quill. Do I? Tell her yeah, the I, truth. Yeah, I got that question as well. Uh, I'm interested to see which one you choose. You the truth. Your classmate is prepared to win by cheating. He deserves to be found out. Also, you are both in the same house. Any points he loses will be... Ooh. Ooh, you would not wait to be asked to tell first if you knew that somebody was using a forbidden quill. You would tell the teacher before the exam started. Lions say you don't know, but hope that someone else tells <laughs> the truth. Uh, <laughs> Is that the one you went with? Not, not in clear. Tell professor oh, that oh. he ought to ask uh, your classmate and resolve. Tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, you will. Ooh. This guy's part of, this guy's the homie and he's part of my set. So you're gonna go with that one, don't tell, so you don't lose points? <laughs> Bro, I'm tempted. I went with the one that said, uh, I told him to ask the other classmates, uh, or the classmate, to basically, like, uh, give him the opportunity to come clean. If he doesn't, then I'll tell. Yeah. You know, it, 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 redeeming quality, you know, it's like, <laughs> hey, true. Lo- you're let him know that him, he missed. You're giving him the chance to, like, yeah, trust him up himself. That's like, a good one. And yeah. then you'll, you'll snitch on him after. Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty good one. Heads or tails? Bruh. <laughs> At least what I don't is this, is coin? Is this a coin? Is this a coin flip? <laughs> oh, ooh, ah, <laughs> yo, I got it. coin flip app. No, I think that means that uh, the hat is trying to ch- choose between two different houses, and it's like, okay, heads or tails, which one you want? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do this. The old professional way. Coin flip. I got heads. We're going yeah, heads. I chose tails. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready to be sorted. Alright, three, two, one. I got Gryffindor. I got Hufflepuff. Motherfucking wow. Hufflepuff. <laughs> okay, so here's something that's that's interesting. Um because I, 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 well, I think I already took, never mind. Uh, <laughs> but when, when we did the game, we both got Hufflepuff, which to mm-hmm. be fair, you remember, I accidentally did click a few answers yeah. by accident. So maybe I, I actually meant to get Gryffindor. But I thought that was pretty interesting to kind of retake this test. For anyone who doesn't know, we played through a custom map uh, Minecraft. for Minecraft, which was amazing, by the way. Holy cow. Um, but we, we had to get sorted into houses. And him and I both got uh, Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. So pretty interesting that you you stayed in Hufflepuff. I think that's I think that's better than you mm-hmm. changing. I think that shows that you you do truly belong in Hufflepuff. Yeah. Um, Hufflepuff. And I've taken I've taken the test multiple times, and I even gave a, a few different answers this time, and I still ended up in Gryffindor. So I think it's safe to say I'm we a Gryffindor at Gryffindor heart, baby. And I'm a Hufflepuff. At least none of us is Slytherin. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Honestly, Loki, I mean, kind of cool. Like <laughs> Slytherin, it's like Slytherin, one, <laughs> Slytherin one been good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, what, what's the green one? Isn't there a green one? Yeah, I think that green is uh, Slytherin. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think that's I, green one is Slytherin. Uh, uh, anyway, I was like, I don't like the green one. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, moving on, we got the Patronus. Patronus. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. Ah, uh, fuck. My tap froze. Oh, okay, one. We're in, a, we're in a forest. The Patronus is a kind of positive force, a Yo, projection of the very thing that the <laughs> Dementor feeds upon. Hope, happiness, and desire to survive. Discover your Patronus. You can only discover your Patronus once the questions are timed. Go with your instincts. Okay, you ready to begin? I, I'm almost. Uh, I just got the. Yeah, I'm ready to begin. All right, three, two, one. There we go. Relax. Think of your happiest memory. Relax. Happiest memory. <laughs> All right, I ain't got none. <laughs> this is kind of spooky, bro. <laughs> bro. This is sick. Spooky, spooky. Glitter, shine, glitter. Surf, protect, seek. Or. Just like last time, we're getting different ones. Let's seek. This is tough, bro. 
You need to react more quickly. I'm guessing the again. first few are not timed. I did too slow. Glitter, shine, glow. Shine. Oh, I have that one. I picked glow. Smooth, rough? Oh, what's up <laughs> what with scary music? You're close to your Patronus. Something is taking form. Think, sense, feel. You're so close, keep going. I, just, I, just I saw a claw, or I might have been a fang. Keep going. Oh, I think I got mine. Forever, sometimes. It's forming, it's forming. Okay, mine's been revealed. See what I got? <gasps> I got a sparrow! Watch. Watch. It's like a <laughs> I got... Was it good? Click to drag your... Uh, click and drag and release your drugs. Saint Bernard. I think I got a dog. I got a, I got a dog, I got a dog. <laughs> nice. Called Saint Bernard. <laughs> Turn to my profile. Not, not, not the name of it, it's the name of a breed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I got a breed Goodness called Saint breed. Bernard. I got a sparrow. Alright. Looks like a pigeon. I'm trying to turn Alright, next up. The wand. wand. Take part in your official wand ceremony. Finding your wand is a rite of passage for all young wizards and witches. So what are you waiting for? Discover yours now in the Harry Potter Fan Club online yeah, wand good. experience. Find Let's do it. Wand. First of all, would you describe yourselves as average height, tall, or short? I am tall. Well, wait, what's average height are we talking about here? Like, what's average? Average, average male height is, what, 5'7"? I mean, I'm definitely tall. I think your eyes. I have brown eyes. Hmm. You, are you, you thinking you don't know what color I your eyes are? I don't remember what color my <laughs> eyes are. I don't. I don't keep that. In my oh, my fucking eyes are this color. I don't I keep. Don't, I don't keep that bro. in my. I don't keep that in my memory. Something's wrong with you. Was the day on which you were born an even or odd number? Odd. Do you most pride yourself That's on it. your determination, originality, imagination, optimism, day uh, resilience, kindness, or intelligence? Ooh. Um, I don't have great imagination, which we know by Minecraft. <laughs> um. I don't really have, I wouldn't say I have great determination. I'm pretty lazy. I, I'm not very original. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm, I'm smart, but I wouldn't I'm say I, I'm, I pride myself on that. I would say optimism, I think, is something that I, I, I always like to turn bad situations around. I always make people look at the, the positive side. I would say I pride myself on my optimism, is what I would say. What is your answer? Well, I'm definitely not intelligent. So that's a <laughs> Facts? Imagination. <laughs> if we're talking about Minecraft here, you know, I guess I'm, you know. But outside uh, of that, not you got, really. You got, some, you got some imagination. More than me. <laughs> huh. It would be either kindness or imagination. <laughs> What? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, you know what we should do? After we do this, we should take the test and answer what we think the other person would answer. Oh, God. <laughs> that could be pretty interesting. Well, guys, back to today's video, we're going to be doing the higher <laughs> product quiz, but we're going to be answering for the other person. <laughs> uh, we, we should do like a one of those... Uh, 
what are they like friend test or whatever, like how well do you know the other person? No. <laughs> traveling traveling alone and down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the oh, fuck, I accidentally clicked on left towards the road. Oh, oh god. Oh, it's left towards Back. the sea. Yeah, I Alright towards the castle or the forest. I'm definitely going castle. I'm going to the forest. Start. I'm tall. I have brown eyes. Uh, odd number. Optimism. Uh, left towards the sea. I'm going towards the the sea, bro. Boom. Okay. I love forests. Going with the forest. Do you most fear fire, small spaces, darkness, isolation, or heights? Oh, heights for me. Oh, Ooh, but I'm also I, I darkness though. Fire, not really. Small spaces, not really. Darkness, not really. Isolation. Definitely, yeah. Fuck heights, bro. Bro, we're isolated like every day. <laughs> we're <laughs> gamers, bro. What do you. We live in isolation. <laughs> that's, that's facts. Uh, I don't know. For me, it's either darkness or heights. I, I'm crazy with heights. I also hate darkness, but that's kind of because of Teen Wolf. I blame it. <laughs> I'm going with heights. Teen Wolf. <laughs> Alright, last question. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? A silver dagger, Ooh. a golden key, an ordinate mirror, dusty bottle, glittering jewel, a black glove, but apparently it's magical, <laughs> or a bound scroll? I 100% already know which one I'm choosing. What about you? Mm, so I would, the silver dagger or the key? Because like, what if the key can open any door? Oh, that would be cool. Like, it's I, magical I guess... artifacts, right? So it's like... Yeah. What would they do? Like, going to Kia, could see, like, it being like, it could open any... fit, you know, Transform or fit in any door or any yeah. lock. Black I didn't glow. actually think about that. I, I had thought the uh, about them being magical, and that's why I was going to say the bound scroll. I think having a yeah, magical sc yeah. scroll would be Yeah, that, cool. that would be good, because, like, you know, maybe, like... You open it like say something. Yeah, like, like it's a magical yeah. scroll. It's, it could have crazy things. I like accidentally if, clicked on the the freaking golden key. <laughs> like if we were talking about just like artifacts, I probably would go with silver dagger. But like, if it's magical, definitely like a golden key that can like open any door, fit in any lock, it would be like the most you know best thing out there. Or the yeah could be you know also good depending on what it did. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really think about that. A dusty bottle, what the hell would they even do? A mirror? Are you gonna look at yourself? Ah, uh, yeah, um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go Golden Key. Yeah, I accidentally clicked Golden Key. <laughs> I'm gonna go Golden Key. And I guess you can't do it. So that's the one that I got. So what one did you get? I got Applewood. I got Maplewood. Maple? Okay. Uh, I got Unicorn Core. Did you get Unicorn Core? Yes. Nice, okay. Uh, brief description of mine. It says, Applewood wands are not made in great numbers. They are very powerful and best suited to an owner of high aims and ideas. Um, as this would mix poorly with dark magic, dark magic, it is said that the Professor of an apple wand will be well loved and long lived, and uh, have often noticed that their customers of great personal charm find their perfect match in an apple wood wand. Mine is okay. I have often found that chosen by maple wands are by nature of travelers and explorers. They are not stay at home wands. I mean, I'm gamers, I'm staying at home. And prefer ambition <laughs> and the witcher wizard. Otherwise, their magic grows heavy and lackluster. Fresh challenges and regular changes I've seen cause this one to literally shine, furnishing itself, its grows, and its partner, it, uh, in ability and status. This is a beautiful and desirable wood, and wand quality maple has been among the most costly for centuries. Possession of a maple wand has long been a mark of status because of its reputation as the wand of high achievers. Okay. Good, I think 
I think it said that just because you picked the isolation thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that that's kind of interesting. Uh, um, okay, so originally what I had gotten is I had gotten Gryffindor House again. Uh, my wand was Elm Wand. And for my Patronus, actually, which is quite interesting because, you know, I said I don't like cats. My Patronus, though, was a wild cat. Which I thought was pretty interesting. So I was like, maybe, you know, maybe at heart, I, I do like cats. Um, which is actually kind of true. Um, so I thought that was pretty interesting. I really kind of showed myself there when I went through and, uh, and answered those. Um, yeah, very interesting. That was really cool. I enjoyed this for sure. We know I'm, I'm Hufflepuff for life. <laughs> I'm Hufflepuff for life. Up above our life, baby. And you know I gotta flex my fucking chain. I don't give a shit, little bitch. Yeah, I gotta do this shit. Okay. Always in the zone, even when I'm not alone. Yeah. Let me pull up to your home. I don't need them digits. Man, I know my luck, especially on my limits. Okay. Tell me why you gotta be so curious. Okay. Rolling with my